You guys, I think I found the perfect spot. Reserve parking for vanilla ice. Dun da 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 Yes. The November Cash Crete is here better than a set of Del Griffith's shower curtain rings. If you get that reference, I really like you. I like you a lot. Hey everybody, this is Joshua, the geocaching vlogger, and I'm here today because the Cash Crate has arrived. If you don't know what the Cash Crate is, it is a monthly geocaching subscription box where Lisa from Cash Advance fills this thing up with goodies, geocaching goodies, things that she knows geocachers like. And I'm gonna unbox it for you, but I don't only unbox these things for you, but I also go out into the wild and I try to use some of the stuff included here in a geocaching adventure. Here we go, opening the cash crate. Look at that presentation. Lisa always does a stellar job making the presentation look fantastic. Always included in the cash crate is a description of everything that's in here. I'm gonna set it aside. Oh my gosh, we don't have one. We don't have two, we don't have three. We have five bison tubes. <laughs> five bison tube geocaches made by Bison itself, the company Bison, Bison Designs. The holidays coming up, there are so many in here that I could literally put these on my tree as ornaments. So the nice thing is that these are not generic Bison tubes. They are made by the company Bison. These are perfect for geocaches. They're perfect to put inside geocaches like I did last month with a fake rock. So good, five of them. They also included log books in here as well, geocaches already prepared, we have four, count them, four logbooks. Oh, oh my gosh! Sometimes I wonder if Lisa is reading my mind because I found a location nearby where I worked where I wanted a geocache like this because I thought it would fit in so well. It is a utility place cache. It's so great because these are all like ready to go. There they have the utility plate, looks real. And then on this side, already a logbook, a magnet already connected to stick it, and then a magnet to hold the log in there too, and includes a log as well. And I think I figured out what I'm gonna do after I unbox this is I'm gonna hide this bad boy. Just like last month when I hid the fake rock, I know the perfect spot for this. And then every month I always get the ad on trackable. Look at that. E.T. phone home, phone home, home phone. We have an alien trackable tag. It says on the back, it says, Earth is only 225 million miles from Mars, but my GPS still can route me without recalculating. What a great cache crate. I ended up with a total of five geocaches, logbooks, a trackable tag, all right, so if you're interested in the cash crate or getting the cash crate for somebody else, what an awesome gift it would be if you purchased as a gift for the holidays a cash crate for somebody for several months or a few months. You can cancel any time. But if you're interested, go to cashcrate.com. All the information is there. You can subscribe. And YouTube can have geocaching sweetness delivered to your door every month. I promised you that I would go hide this. So let's go hide this right now. Let's go. I'm in an urban environment, which is a perfect place to hide an urban camoed geocache. I have a place near my work that I think would be perfect, the perfect place to put this. It's adorable, it's cute. It's a little robot. Perfect spot. Electric box in robot disguise. And this will be the perfect spot. Just gonna put it right on his nose right here, right there. No! So what is key when you're trying to hide a magnetic switch plate thing is to find something magnetic. And I was hoping that this robot would be magnetic. It is not. I gotta find something else. I gotta find something else. I think I found the perfect spot reserved parking for vanilla ice. Dun da 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 Yes. Right in the back of this maybe. No. <laughs> Not magnetic. Oh, try again. Three hours later. Friends, the best thing about geocaching is the places it takes you. It takes you to cool little roadside attractions, and we're in Royalton, Minnesota, which is the home of Treasure City. It is a place 
filled with treasures. It is fantastic. But I have my light plate geocache as the park right next to Treasure City. So let's find a spot for this and Treasure City. I found a metal box on the side of the road. I spy with my little eye. <laughs> a geocache right next to Treasure City. What a cool spot. Let's go into Treasure City and see what it's all about. Thank you.